Oh look, there's a deer. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Or at least that's how the infamous artificial intelligence Gladys states in Valve's hit video game series Portal. Well geez Superman, what exactly is Portal? You may be saying out loud to yourself right now if you haven't lived in an Aperture Science Laboratory's computer-aided enrichment center. Or if you just have not played the game. Anyways, Portal is a first-person puzzle platform video game developed by Valve Corporation. Now in Portal, the player controls a protagonist Chell and navigates through a series of rooms using the Aperture Science handheld Portal device, or Portal Gun. To put it simply, the Portal Gun creates two distinct Portal ends, orange and blue. The portals create a visual and physical connection between two different locations in three-dimension space. Following along there, Jimmy? So you can shoot these portals at specific walls and travel from point A to point B, but neither end is specifically an entrance or exit. That aside, the most important aspect of the physics behind the portals is momentum redirection. As moving objects pass through portals, they will come through the exit portal in the same direction and with the same speed that the object had entered through the entrance portal. Simple physics so far, right? Well, this isn't the first time that this idea has been proposed in physics. Einstein proposed the idea of wormholes, theoretical passages through space-time that could create shortcuts to make it easier for you to get from point A to point B. The portal gun does just that though, when it can create this wormhole to help you conveniently get places. But here's where it gets a little complicated. The wormhole theory states that a wormhole will suddenly collapse. Also, if the portal gun can then maintain the portals, this could create a power source that can supply finite energy. But there's an issue here as well because this goes against the first law of thermodynamics where energy cannot be created or destroyed. So what other problem does the portal gun cause? One of the main mechanics in Portal 2 is the momentum fling, which allows a player to send themselves great distances through the air. As a result of the momentum fling, momentum gained through potential energy is redirected into a parabolic path through the air. This is not actually accurate though. Momentum would not be conserved. What's actually happening is that your speed is conserved, and this is based on our current understanding of physics. All in all, Portal and Portal 2 are fantastic puzzle platformers that incorporated theoretical models and physics quite well. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. If you have any questions or would like to discuss what you enjoyed or disliked about this video, please leave a comment down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to motivate our human writers and producers. Until next time, happy gaming.